Up in far northern Minnesota, we're finally getting settled into our winter camp. Surprise though, we run into the guy behind all the camping gear. Some folks go so far away hey. just to feel like they're home. That team way across our lonely lake understands. A group of winter trekkers led by this guy. A bona fide boundary waters icon. They made it. Dan Cook, an adventurer who tackles life one frozen stride at a time. Dan winter camps. Yeah, we're gonna set up there. He also covets gear, the real reason we made this trip. I observe the equipment and how we use it and stuff like that. I, I like that aspect of it, but I don't dwell on it. Yeah, dwell might not be quite the right word. The tent. <laughs> Obsessed seems like a slightly better choice. Rotate a little bit. See, even Dan must admit he's a gearhead. This is like coming home, it's like opening up the candy store. To come here, to be here, and not to be thinking about your gear. Just to, to settle in, just to relax. It's all the difference in the world. Maybe that's why Dan spends so much time with the pedal to the metal. Well, the trick is, is to get the fold pre-aligned. But when the weather is at its worst, that's when you know whether or not your equipment is good. Down in the basement shop, Dan and his wife make Minnesota outdoor gear. Dan's been crafting bush packs, canoe covers, gear bags, all sorts of stuff a long, long time. I think one of the advantages that I have over some of the other stuff people out there is I've led trips from backpacking, canoeing, horse pack trips, bicycle trips, ski trips, snowshoe trips. So I've seen a lot of different avenues of camping. All your stuff I've always noticed is very colorful. Yes. And the reason for that is it shows up on the end of the portage. When you lay it down, you can find it. Oh, and there's another reason too. You know, you want to remember your trip. And if pictures are dull and boring, it's hard to show your friends. <laughs> the company, Cook Custom Sewing, iconic in Minnesota's outdoor circles. And the gear coveted by the people who use the stuff. It's great quality stuff, and we, you know, we all use it up here. You do that long enough, people just start to know who you are. I suppose that's why Dan never travels alone. People want to be alongside him. We value his experience and his expertise. Turns out, we give him something in return, too. But there's something about having done it with your own hands and having someone come up and say, I used your equipment and I had a wonderful experience. Watching your friends use it. That, that, that there's a lot of joy in that. Exactly why we've come to this lake to share in Dan's story, and more importantly, his passion. I don't I come up here to accomplish, I come up here just to be. It's like coming home to uh, just a relaxed state of mind. It's letting go. Come up here and let go. Okay.